man has a right to take care of himself, no matter what. Without having to lean on his own sons for help, for Christ's sakes. It's not right. Probably was fine. Battery low. Dad. <laughs> For Christ's sake, they put me under. Don't even bother to take out these goddamn talking earphones in my head. <laughs> but, uh... Pardon me for coming unannounced. Who let you in? Your son. My son? Yes, sir. He invited me. My own son. I know you think there's nothing I can do for do you. Do not sit down. But I'm here because I need your help. You need my help? I need you to bring out the best of me. I know you judge me, even though you've just met me. But what would you say if in an hour from now, you and I become best of friends? Would you consider that a miracle? A miracle is an impossible made possible, and our friendship <laughs> is just impossible. That's exactly the kind of miracle the love of Christ will bring us. Get the fuck out of here. Well, which wolf wins? And he said, what's the one that you feed? Shit, that's deep. You know, my father, he used to say, the world's a bitch, son. As soon as she spreads her legs and you take a bite of that pie, she owns you. And if she ever catches you fucking around not playing by her rules, she will take everything and leave your ass out in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say I disagree with that perspective of yours. Mm. Oh, uh, do you mind? And then you serve life. A cold fucking glass of lemonade. That's what to do, Paul. That. It's just a goddamn motherfucking do. Did you go to Chinatown? Chinese mooncakes. Next week is the moon festival. And if a fight breaks out later, I'll have something to throw. <laughs>